I'm in the remote wilderness of southern Alaska, where fishermen have gone missing without a trace. And what may be the most dangerous fish in these waters is on the end of my line. Yeah. Big halibut are usually killed as soon as they're caught, because no one wants to risk handling a live one. But that's exactly what I want to do now. It's quite a good size. Are you going to go for the nets? Yeah, we're all ready. I want to get this fish on board without injuring it or us. Now? No, 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 no. Hey, can you get in and just gather the, the left hand side up? Someone take the rod, please. All right. And down we go. Right, it's, it seems calm now. Should we go for it? OK, good. It's really yeah. green. Yep. Dorsal fin's there, good. OK, yeah, let's get out. this is a big halibut. This is 120 odd pounds, heavy to lift, heavy to bring in. And having seen this thing thrash on the surface, I can absolutely believe those stories of when they kick off in a boat, damaging people. We tend to think of flatfish as just food for us, but this is absolutely way up the food chain. This is a predator, and if in, you're in any doubt of that, just look at the size of the mouth and the teeth there. That will just engulf and then clamp down. Its large tail and powerful musculature give it explosive acceleration. It is undeniably a very odd-looking beast. A sight hunter with two eyes on one side of its face is something I've never encountered in fresh water. Though this one seems to have calmed down after coming into the boat, I don't want to push my luck. OK. Then the sharks close in, and I'm surrounded. They're striking at herrings only a, a weight came. And I threw my arm down into the mouth of the fish 